Hey everybody, Mark Spectre Comics, and I'm back. If you want to see what books I picked up recently at a flea market near me, stay tuned. Alright, welcome back. So, uh, I checked out this uh, local flea market a few days ago. Um, it's, I believe it's called the Stillwater Antique Center. It's like a, it's like a soft version of a flea market. You know, they have a bunch of vendors there. The vendors aren't actually there, but they have their stuff there. You can pick it. It's already pre-priced, and um, you take it to the checkout. So um, I've been there several times, but I think this was my first or second time since um, the COVID. They, you know, the restrictions. They opened it back up, and they've done a quite a bit of uh, rearranging there. They've got new vendors there. So I figured I'd stop by and check it out and uh, see what I could find. So um, I believe I spent, I want to say, let's see, $30, $35, something like that total, which wasn't too bad. Um, had some quite a bit of variety there. And um, before we start, please don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe. Had a few new subscribers recently added to the, um, to the channel. So uh, I want to say thanks for joining, and uh, if we can get, a, let's see, about 20 more, get that Road to 500 started, getting a bunch of books packed up, ready to go for that contest, so uh, it may be a slab or two, so we'll see. Tell your friends, swing by Mark Spector's channel, and subscribe. All right, enough of that. Let's start with the pickups, and um, we'll go from there, all right? All right, so first book. This is the Totally Awesome Hope, number one. There we go. I believe this is the first Amadeus Cho as the Hope. This book's been picking up quite a bit of steam. And um, I was uh, surprised to see this there listed for a couple of bucks. So that was pretty cool. All right. And uh, like I said, most of these books are going to be either first appearances or like... Um, like just pretty cool, uh, you know, cover art that I found. But um, this one actually was cover art. So this next book, I uh, immediately gravitated towards it when I saw the cover art because uh, you'll you know what this is if you like uh, Rosetta. This is the uh, Death Dealer. I believe this is issue number four. It's a four-part series, and it's just great artwork in there by uh, Frank Rosetta. This is obviously a nice Frank Rosetta cover. Uh, I think this was the most expensive book I paid for there. It was like five bucks, which wasn't too bad. I couldn't just pass up on this one though. This came out, I want to say, in 97? Yeah. So, uh, Death Dealer number four. And uh, I was a little surprised. It's actually a little graphic in there. Um, I wasn't aware of that until I started opening up and flipping through the pages. So, <laughs> that caught me off surprise. Um, the next issue is uh, Superman, I think this is volume two, uh, issue number 719. And this is the first Demolition. Demolition. It's uh, the, basically the vigilante, the female vigilante that uh, uses up blood sports tech. And if you ask me, I'm surprised this book is not picking up steam. You know, we already know that blood sports gonna be in the uh, upcoming uh, Suicide Squad movie. And it makes sense to actually have her introduced as well. And I think this is, obviously, this is a cover swipe to Superman 4, which is the uh, first blood sport. I think this is the better cover, if you ask me. But um, first appearance of Demolition. Look out for this book. You can get this in the dollar bin all day. Um, speaking of which, I found these really cool uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles wax card packs. Got two of them. Um... Never seen these before. These are pretty cool. This came out in 1989. Put these a little bit closer. See, initially 59 cents when they came out. So I, they had a bunch of other wax packs there that I passed on, like a lot of random stuff. But these two were pretty, uh, pretty cool when I saw these. So uh, thought that was neat. I might throw that into the uh, into the giveaway as well. All right. Um, don't know, oh, this was a cover pickup. So this is Marvel's, 
I believe number one, the early 90s series done by uh, Alex Ross. I just picked this up because it was great cover art. There's nothing significant about this book. The number one issue, but that's it, really. Classic Alex Ross. Um, this next book was uh, pretty interesting. I was surprised to see this one as well. Um, early 90s, Star Wars, Tales of the Jedi, Dark Lords of the Sith. This is the first appearance of Exar Kun, and um, it is polybagged. This is our early Dark Horse. This is issue number one of six. It's polybagged, and it comes with um, a card in the back as well. Never seen this book before, but um, I, I know anything Star Wars is picking up steam, so uh, it was worth a look. Um, next book, I was happy to see these in the second printings. So, you know, all, all of a sudden, second printings, third printings, fourth printings are all the rage. Everybody wants them. I don't, I don't know why. But um, this is Secret War, issue number... Oh, sorry. Let me start with the first one. Issue number one. This was written by uh, Brian Michael Bendis, and I believe this is, yeah, Gabriel Del Otto, cover art. This is the black and white sketch, which is the second print. And it, apparently it's the first appearance of uh, Lucia Von Bardig which is the uh, successor to Dr. Doom. But look at this cover art, beautiful. Next one is Secret War issue number two, also the black and white sketch, second printing. Great Wolverine cover there. Um, and this is the first appearance of Daisy, Daisy Johnson, AKA Quake. So if you ever watched the uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., actually I loved the series, it was great. Uh, sad to see that it wrapped up uh, but highly speculative that Quake's going to be in the uh, Agents of Sword and um, so forth. So uh, we'll see if that comes to be or not. But um, I, I enjoyed watching the character and to see her progression throughout this, the, uh, the actual series. So fun little book to pick up. Um, next book, this is the Marvel Knights run of Black Widow, issue number one. This is the first mention of the Red Room, and um, I want to say it's Yelena Belova's identity is revealed. So that's a pretty cool book to pick up. All right, another Star Wars book. This is um, Star Wars Darth Maul issue number two. It's actually a really nice cover too. First appearance of Cad Bane. And then the last few books I got here. This is uh, Michael Moorcock's Elric, issue number one. That was pretty nice pickup for a dollar. Nice little story written by Roy Thomas. Great artwork inside as well. Um, and then the last two books. I know a lot of people love to pick up these uh, Thor God of Thunder uh, series. Especially, you know, there's a few of the issues that are quite pricey and hard to find. So um, I was happy to find uh, Thor God of Thunder issue number three, first printing. It's when you see Gore uh, speaking in the shadows. Not really much of a key, but uh, just a nice lower issue run to pick up. And then obviously the big book that I got there at the uh, flea market find. Take a guess of what it could be. Uh, Thor, God of Thunder, issue number two, second printing, first appearance of Gore the God Butcher. Was very happy to pick this book up, never seen this book in the wild, and uh, to see it for, I think it was a dollar, so that was awesome pick, oh sorry, two dollars, two dollars. So this was a great pickup, this was the big score that I found at the flea market there. Uh, I just seem to have a little bit of a luck streak recently in picking up these big keys. So, uh, if you like what you find, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you get, you know, my content when it comes out. And uh, that's it for now. So, uh, until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.